Hey guys, it's Kira. Thanks so much for coming back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be reviving, hopefully, some extremely neglected sourdough starters that my mom left me when she went and decided to live her best life on the beach in Mexico. So, I brought both of her starters out, and hopefully what I've done here has done enough to revive them back and so that I can use them to bake new breads. So stay tuned and let's see how that goes. So my mom decided to live her best life and retired and moved to an amazing beach in Mexico. And while doing that, she left me literally everything that she owned, including her sourdough starters. And I am somewhat ashamed to say that I've not really been taking care of them because I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, so these two guys have been in the fridge for a few months. Um, I've taken them out once and fed them and that's it. <laughs> um, so now I'm going to put them each in new containers, feed them, and then hopefully they will come alive again and I can use them. And, and if not, then, um, sorry mom, I killed your babies. <laughs> so I'm gonna cross my fingers like that and hope that, uh, that I can save these guys. All right, I'm gonna start with wooden spoons because I've read that um, using metal spoons for this could kill the starter. I don't know if there's any truth to that or not, but um, I don't really want to take that risk right now. Alright, so what I'm going to start out doing is taking a look in here and seeing how they're doing. We got the smooch going on. I'm gonna take you off the tripod and let you see inside. Okay, so now I'm going to one spoon here and one spoon here. I'm just gonna mix up what I have. Yeah, I'm only using one hand because I'm holding Catherine in the other hand, in the other arm. I'm gonna get a couple really good stirs here now that I got the baby put down. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and put them each in their own jars. So now I'm gonna add half a cup of water and half a cup of flour to each one and stir it in really well. And this little rubber band here is for reference to know where it started. Okay, so now I've got two refrigerated starters that had been very neglected in new jars. They have both been fed. They have both been tracked with a rubber band um, and what that does is it shows me how much there was when I fed it and then um, when it ideally hopefully rises hopefully <laughs> crossing fingers that it does um, I know how much it rose and um, because it, I'll be able to see on the side as it rises and falls back down um, to see if it is active or not 
Uh, now, if it's not, then, well, it's time to compost it. But if it is, yay, two new starters, lots of more bread, I can start using those. And um, in another video that I will be posting up soon, I'm going to make a brand new starter and show the process on how I did that, and then bake a bread with the new starter and bake a bread with the revived starter and see which one does better if there are any differences and if um, there are then I will be able to show you what they are so thanks so much for watching I hope you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell so that you're notified when I upload a new video thanks guys really appreciate you goodbye